And speaking of billions, Warren Buffett's succession plan is getting a bit clearer. For years, many wondered who would fill the billionaire investor's shoes and lead Berkshire Hathaway. But now it's down to two men. Becky Quick is in Omaha for us tonight. The news today is the closest we've ever gotten from Berkshire Hathaway in terms of a succession announcement about who would take over when chairman and CEO Warren Buffett leaves. That news is that Greg Abel, who has been running Berkshire Hathaway in energy, and Ajit Jain, who's been running Berkshire Hathaway Reinsurance, will each be taking over as vice chairman of the company. They will be promoted. That will be in addition to the existing vice chairman, Charlie Munger, who at 94 years old is going nowhere. He will still be staying there at the company. This will just be a promotion to put both Abel and Jane into these new positions. They'll also be joining the board of Berkshire Hathaway. That moves the number of directors there to 14 from 12. And that's something that Warren Buffett tells us will be uh, very good for each of them to have to get that experience. They're both got Berkshire in their blood. They, they love the company. They know their operations like the back of their hand. Uh, so uh, it's it's really, it, it's, it's very good for Berkshire, and it's even better for me. <laughs> we also got the chance to ask Buffett about some of the individual holdings that Berkshire has, some of the major stock holdings. And uh, right now, they don't have to tell us anything. They w don't have to file uh, with the SEC what they've been doing in the fourth quarter until February 15th. He was coy on what he thought about Apple. We've added to our holdings consistently up through all the published reports, and, and we'll publish some more on on. Uh, uh, see, the market is not yet saturated for iPhones. I just want to point that out. When, when <laughs> Tim Cook sent me a Christmas card again this year saying he was going to sell me an iPhone this year, when I, when I actually buy it, it's all over, folks. As you can see, Buffett still has a flip phone that's made by Samsung that he keeps with him at all times. So we'll see if he ever actually does buy an iPhone. Uh, the other stock we asked him about was shares of General Electric. Berkshire is not a shareholder in shares of General Electric, but the question has been brought up, would it be something that he would eventually see or like at some price? Now, the answer is yes, at some price. The question is what? Different people have different views on what that <clears throat> price would be, but it, I mean, it, if you came to me and said, we'll sell you the whole General Electric Company at X, and X was the right number, we'd, we'd like to buy it. And, and if we buy little pieces in the market, that's the way we think about it. He did, however, say that he thinks GE is a big, strong company. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Becky Quick in Omaha, Nebraska.